Welcome. How are you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you tune in here, I am live on my Raw Chef Andrea Instagram page. Also, Andrea Lee, L-E-I-G-H Cox on TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, go follow me at Raw Chef Andrea on Instagram. And if you're on Instagram, go follow me on TikTok at Andrea Lee Cox. I'm about to go live on Facebook and YouTube as well. So I'm gonna reintroduce myself and then I'm gonna be focused down here. We're gonna be talking about the full moon. So let me pose for a quick, let me pose for the still shot. Oh goodness. Hang on one sec, you guys, I gotta pose. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live everywhere. We are live on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube at the Detox Intuitive, my spiritual channel, and right here with my home family on Facebook. Hopefully, uh, Maverick and Lewis, my little husbands with fur, don't act up during this live. Thank you on TikTok for helping me reach 18,000 followers. I noticed that when I woke up this morning, fist bump to all of you. If you enjoy this astrology lesson, and it's going to be really beneficial to your soul's growth and evolution about how you can actually heal during this full moon in Aries, never, never fails. This dog never fails, never misses a chance to steal the light. That's okay. He's a Leo. We got to forgive him, right? Um, I love my Leos. So if you like this video, I invite you to join me for a live on Leo in the MC, in your house of the MC, uh, after this on the Detox Intuitive on YouTube. So hop on over and subscribe to that channel. That is my spiritual channel, my wellness channel on YouTube is Andrea Cox TV. So we have got tomorrow, I believe, the full moon in Aries. And why is this such a detrimental full moon? And why is it so very important right now? So Aries is a sign of action. They're ruled by Mars. Uh, it's also anger. It's a sign that expresses anger, but they are the leaders in the zodiac. So I'm a March 19th birthday, and I'm literally a few hours away from being in Aries, and I have a very powerful placement of Aries and Jupiter. And I can tell you from having a fire trine in my chart, hopefully he'll calm down and I don't have to put him in the bedroom, I can tell you by having three water trines and a fire trine in my chart that Aries is a very powerful sign. So the interesting thing about this, <laughs> the interesting thing about this full moon is that it's, 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 <coughs> this will be honestly, he's going to be quiet. The interesting thing about this full moon <laughs> is uh, Chiron is aspecting this full moon. So Chiron is the wounded healer. It's actually the, the um, they call it the, the, the wounded healer because it's a lot of things that happened to us when we were younger. Not necessarily childhood, it can be, but also, um, you know, before we evolved as a species, as a man, as a female. So you know, maybe something you did, you know, 10 years ago that you're not very proud of is coming up at this time. Maybe it's being brought up in front of your face. Thumbs up if you love animals and will allow them to repeatedly interrupt your videos. At any rate, and thank you for all the hearts and all the thumbs up and all of that. So Chiron, the wounded healer, is aspecting this full moon. Now, what does that mean? It means that things that have that we have done in the past or things that have really angered us in the past 
will be brought up for us to face and release. That's what this full moon is about. So this full moon is one of the most healing moons we will go through in our lifetime. Uh, this moon specifically because it's followed by a eclipse. So this is a powerful full moon. And, you know, it's also about giving credit where credit's due, right? And that's why I'm going to go right into the live video on the Detox Intuitive on YouTube about having Leo in the MC and how this has impacted me personally. So if you have heavy Leo placements, I highly suggest that you go watch that video. I don't want to get into it now or my story, but it's going to be a good video. But, you know, what we want to remember, and thank you on YouTube, thank you for the likes and the hearts, I appreciate it, and Facebook. So what we want to remember when it comes to this full moon is to actually honor the feelings we are going through. So I'm going to give you kind of five tips to navigate through this full moon. So tip number one is you know, this full moon is going to bring front and center anxiety about what we haven't done yet, right? So if you have not been, if you have not been going after your dreams, if you have not been uh, taking that step to start that business, if you have not been moving forward in a certain area of your life, you're going to feel anxiety, right? So the first thing I want to invite you to do is I want to invite you to actually honor that. Hang on. Sorry, you guys. He didn't want to stay in the bedroom. So the first thing I want to invite you to do is actually to honor that feeling of needing to do those things that you haven't gotten around to yet. The second thing we want to honor is the healing that needs to take place. So if you did something to someone and you're feeling guilty about it, and this could have happened 10 years ago, or they're bringing it up, right? This is gonna be a time where a lot of relationships end. More relationships actually end when we have a full moon in Aries, especially followed by an eclipse, than any other time, because it brings face to face what needs to end in our life. We've got that fiery energy of Aries. We've got that full moon energy. And, you know, followed by the eclipse, that eclipses things out of our life. So this is vitally important for our soul's growth and evolution. It's healing the wound so we stop bringing it up over and over again. So what I would like to invite you guys to do is if there is something that has gone on over and over and over again in your life and you sound like a broken record over a situation that happened to you really and you know some situations i like the saying um it didn't happen to me it happened for me but not all the time because some things ha happen to us that aren't really fair and i want to get into that in that video i'm going to be shooting right after this on the detox intuitive so if you're the type of person that Either you hear someone continuously bringing something up from their childhood, or you continue, you hear someone, or you yourself are continuously doing things out of spite, anger, jealousy, envy. Now is the time to address that and make those changes. Because the eclipse we're having after this full moon in Aries does not play at all. It does not play, my friends. It's gonna bring all this stuff up like a bubbling bottle of champagne that's gonna pop open and spew all over the damn walls and it is gonna be bright red, not white. So everything is brought out into the open. This is Lewis, my other husband. So what we wanna do is we want to take this time to actually do healing work on ourselves, whatever that means to you. I have a Roffer coming to the house. A Roffer is someone who pushes energy from one side of your body and the other at the same time to help you actually release. And I'm really excited for this because the first time I had it done 10 years ago, it helped me open myself to a relationship. So I'm excited to get this Roffing done. Again, I'm actually a little scared, but it's going to help me 
address a situation that has been coming up over and over and over again for me to heal about being attacked online. And I now know that my MC and Leo is the reason people get jealous and envious of my, of my work that I do and everything else. It's literally a person that's born to be in front of a camera. So we want to address these things head on. We want to get to the root cause of them. So definitely eat well. That's really important. Thumbs up if you agree with me on that. Definitely hydrate well. Important for the healing process to, you know, flush everything out of the body. Excuse me one second, mommy, if you can't be nice. So it's like, I'm the mother Teresa of animals, so just ignore me. So definitely, you know, hydrating well. I've been drinking these all day long. I think I'm on my fifth one. Definitely eating well, definitely changing habits that no longer serve us. And you know, what you also want to do is you want to retrace the steps of what are you feeling guilty for, right? What did you do that you're feeling guilty for? Do you need to apologize to someone? What um, is it within you that makes you do spiteful things? Do you need to address that, you know, your mother issues, your father issues, your sibling issues, your did you lose someone when you were younger? Whatever that is, because this eclipse will not allow us to carry these things into the future. This, I'm sorry, this full moon in Aries will not allow us to carry things into the future. You look quite handsome, boys, on camera. So if you have any questions, I encourage you to put them in the comment section below and continue to tell me where you're tuning in from. I just realized I don't have a phone to type on because they're all on different social media outlets. So, you know, another aspect of this full moon that we're going to go through is a feeling of anger of not taking steps to handle things that should have been taken care of a long time ago. Again, the full moon is being aspected by Chiron, which is the wounded healer. Like, were we too busy being wounded and focusing on someone else's shit and trying to tear them down than we were on ourselves and our own, what was going on in our own home life and our own business, our own uh, aspects of our personal life. So that's something to look at. I've had more clients come to me for readings over the past two weeks than I have in four years since I started my business, specifically Akashic Record readings, healing readings over childhood issues, things of that nature. So it's about addressing these situations that happened to us when we were much younger. And it does, again, it doesn't have to be childhood, but for many of you, it could be, it could be that first relationship, that first person that broke your heart, that first person that didn't pay attention to you. And maybe they mimicked your mom or your dad that didn't pay attention, whatever triggered you, but also looking at yourself because Aries are hyper reactive. So Aries in general, they react without thinking first. So they do a lot of stupid shit along their journey. They do, I'm sorry, don't shoot the messenger. And over the years, they have to actually learn to think about things before they do them. Because if they don't, it can have life altering, life changing, you know, a lot of times it can land them in jail, you know? So they really have to think about things before acting. So yeah, I'm really excited I got to share this with you, you guys. So that full moon in Aries tonight, tomorrow, you know, you wanna go through whatever you do on a full moon. I have lots of videos on Andrea Cox TV and the Detox Intuitive. Uh, my full moon rituals and what I do. I've been cleansing a lot. I've been cleansing my space. I've been cleaning. I've been getting rid of clutter. I've been really trying to spend as much time as possible alone, which hello, what's new? I'm a hermit. But it's a time to really address these things that we have not wanted to address until this point. And we have to address them now because we can't not address them. This energy of, of um, Chiron transitioning through Aries and uh, this full moon in Aries and then the eclipse and then the Saturn moving into Pisces, all this stuff 
is not going to allow the wounded healer to go on carrying these heavy wounds, these aspects of themselves that they keep bringing up, that they keep going back to, that they keep looking back at. We're meant to move forward. Now, depending on, and this is why I want you guys to hop on over to the Detox Intuitive, because I'm going to go live about having Leo in the MC. And for many of you, you may have Leo in the MC. That would probably make you a Scorpio or Libra rising sign. Or you might have, like I do, Scorpio rising in Western and uh, Libra rising in Vedic. And there's a certain aspect about having Leo in the MC that's vitally important that I really want all of you to learn. So join me live over there. We're going to talk about that. And look who calmed down. Good boys. They both calmed down. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's see if you guys have any questions. Hello. Hello there. Thank you in Texas. Thank you in Minnesota. Thank you. Oh, thank you in Westerville. Thank you, Marco. You got me this blanket. Marco's my friend from um, Mexico. And he actually, oh, actually, this isn't the one you gave me. The one you gave me is, I think, on a chair. But um, he always gave me Mexican blankets. He would, he's so nice. Uh, so yeah, so you guys join me over there. It's called The Detox Intuitive. And I think you're really going to learn a lot about the aspect of having Leo in the MC and what the MC means in general. We all have a certain sign in the MC, but I think it's important to talk about that aspect and how it actually affects our lives. It actually affects our career a lot. And it's the opposite of the IC, which is how we were brought up, right? So, yeah, so I love you guys. And I will see you over there. I always like buries his head. Okay, he's gonna go be mean now. So join me over there, the Detox Intuitive on YouTube. Also, when you're over there, right before I go live there, check out Andrea Cox TV, my health and wellness channel there. We're right about at like 23,000 subscribers. And uh, Andrea Lee, L-E-I-G-H Cox on TikTok, thank you. We reached 18,000 today. And Raw Chef Andrea, where I'm heavily censored. Thank you very much on Instagram for speaking the truth about health, wellness, and life in general. I'll see you guys later. Be well. Bye.